It's a lot of memories going down. Gary Newman worked inside that building, the one that burned to the ground Sunday morning in Sawyer, for some 15 years. Well, we dumped all kinds of grain, loaded cars and trucks. And he and firefighters could do nothing but watch as the former Sawyer Farmers Co-op elevator went up in smoke, slowly succumbing to the relentless flames that were first discovered just before 6 a.m. When I got on scene, the uh, elevator was fully engulfed. Rob Knuth is with the Minot Rural Fire Department. His team responded to help the Sawyer Fire Department and crews from Valva assisted too. They battled the blaze for an hour or more, dousing the structure with thousands of gallons of water. But eventually, the water supply in Sawyer was exhausted and tanker trucks had to be brought in to dump water into holding pools to fuel the fight. Their efforts soon turned outward from the burning elevator structure to nearby bins that were filled with grain and the auger system that connects the various bins. The last thing we want to do is uh, put somebody in, in harm's way. So right now it's just around it, protect the exposures and wait for it to complete its cycle. Mm -hmm. Those exposures got plenty of attention as firefighters kept the flames from spreading. The elevator slowly burned away, belching plumes of black smoke into the early morning sky and filling the air with crackling sounds for hours. With the rising sun as a backdrop, the scene was quite spectacular, unless you're the owner. Got a call at 6 a.m. The shoe's on fire. Yeah, we don't know what happened. Nathan Smith bought the elevator more than a decade ago and has used it for storing his annual harvest. Yeah, I've owned this for 15 years. It's one of the first grain facilities I ever uh, bought when I started farming, and it's uh, sad to see it go. This year, the bins were already filled with tens of thousands of bushels of peas, barley, and wheat. I don't know. I haven't quantified the damages. It all depends on what happens to this steel storage outside, if that gets damaged, and um, it's a pretty big loss. But even as he walked the perimeter of the property, watching the slow demise of the elevator, he managed to maintain a sense of humor. How was the crop this year? You brought in a lot of what? Crop's good. Yeah, it's getting smaller right now. <laughs> in Sawyer, North Dakota, Jim Olson for CBS News.